Hello everyone, Sansa Love 2, and welcome to another History of Mods, this time on Thorncraft. I'm going to try and look at versions from 125 onwards, as the 1.1 version I could not get working, not even 1.1 in its own right, with no mods whatsoever. So we're going from 125 and a few others all the way through up to 122. Obviously, if you're familiar with Thorncraft, it ended up as Arcana Craft sort of in the beginning, as well as certain other things with pipes, certain sorts of blocks that interact in a certain way, um, and then eventually went to what it is with obviously a lot of the um, tools, V um, aspects, and a bunch of other bits and pieces, but um, yeah. So I'll try and cover anything I can. Um, since obviously from 1 to 6 it does evolve quite a bit, but obviously the version I'm mostly covering is 2 to 6 at this point. Um, so I'm not able to get access to any um, beta versions as far as I could find. Um, but yeah, you've got your different cores, you've got your unique essences, uh, thormium, enchanted wood, you've got your extracts, some night tour. V detector, crystal ball, goggles revealing is still here, thermometer, you can obviously tell the difference between the textures and um, things that aren't included in later versions, like the boots of the meteor, seven league boots, void compass, and a bunch of other things like stars and so on. And now we'll try and move on to, I guess, 145 um, and see what we get with each of these. I might skip some if there isn't really much in between, but we'll see. Obviously, in 145, there was a lot of things that happened in 3, where obviously you've got the um, different few stones, I'm pretty sure, was different compared to 2. Um, the trees, obviously, are still here. We've got the markers, arcane workbench, table, and a lot of elements you'd see in the later versions obviously started here, I'm pretty sure. Hungry chest, arcane stone, which are a few others. Arcane levitator, arcane ear, arcane bellows, all the different aspects and files, a few of the staffs and a few of the wands and crystal clusters, different wisp essences, you've got your golems, scribing tools, animation cores, arcane door, different look for the thermonomicon compared to what it was prior. Which I'll go back to so you can get an idea of what it looked like. Obviously I haven't covered any research at all in this, but either way. In 146, can't really tell too much. Maybe the Arcane Alembic, candles, and a few other minor things. Probably mostly porting over and bug fixing for the most part, I'd say. In 147, we do have things like the ore clusters, and a few others like the magic wand mirror, gold arcane key, a few other small things, probably a lot more of the accessories for the golems, a lot more to do with the golems, and possibly a few other minor things. But again, obviously, I'm looking at the latest 147 version, so Ember blocks, wounded glass, sort of tiles. So yeah. On to one five or so. Yep. In one five one, I'm not sure if we got access to the triple meat treat. Possibly obviously porting over to one five. 
Uh, we don't have as many of the ore clusters, obviously, and they might have got a texture change, I'm not sure. Uh, but otherwise, obviously, you can easily compare between them. Uh, and maybe the arcane ore, unless I miss that. In the 147 version, which I may have. Um, other than that, pretty much just porting over for the most part. Now to the latest 152. And 152's mm -hmm. far as I've found is the Traveller's Paving Stone. And obviously I've been porting it over. Um don't know if there's much else. Decanting golem, maybe a few other things. I don't think the iron golems were there in prior versions. Got the ore clusters. Obviously, because I've got Lots of good. Thermostatic harness. And that's probably it. One, two, one, six. Okay, in the first one, six, four out of three, there was obviously a porting, as well as things like the deconstruction table. Uh, I think the arcane okay, alembic no, was there. Um, ethereal blooms. We've got flux. Accessible at least from the creative menu. Um, a lot more taint. Uh, I think the yeah, chemical furnace definitely was. The arcane um, pedestal and runic matrix. Um, a lot more arcane related stuff. And the wand recharge pedestal. Um, you've got the wand caps and different rods. Got all the foci rather than staves. All the different mission cores and the accessories. A bunch of the golem upgrades. The tools and much other things are still there. War clusters still there. And I think magic beans were possibly introduced for the first time, I'm not sure. Um we we'll actually check over take a look at the normal comes changes. Obviously what it was before to what it is now. The things are spaced out a bit more, um, possibly similar look. Obviously, aspects being presented like that. So, it's Thorncraft 4 compared to 3 and so on. Now, we'll go to the second and then the third, and whatever else we can fit in this episode. Okay, in the second one, I don't know if there was too many differences, mostly just a bunch of files. Uh, sorry, um, bug fixes and other bits and pieces, but uh, as far as I can tell, the Lamp of Growth is included in this one, compared to obviously only just the Arcane Lamp. Um, there might be a few other specific things I may have missed, but obviously you can check between them. Possibly the Pixcar, so I'm not too sure. Scroll very closely there, maybe a bit more on the Nuggets, but I might have missed them. Not too sure on introduced aspects though. I'm assuming most of this could be missing. Now for the next version. And in the final 164 version, we have obviously the chemical construct, chemical construct mnemonic matrix, I'm pretty sure at least. Don't think I forgot them last time. Possibly more cores. And a few other things such as different arrows for the aspects, possibly the runic armor, Sensei Restorator, and I think that was about it. Uh, we might fit in the 172 version and maybe the 1710 version, but we'll see, and then part 2 will cover the others. Okay, so 172 I didn't really get working at all, so we're going to 1710, it's first version, and then it's last version. So, in the first 1.7.10 version I could find, um, obviously got the Lamp of Fertility, got the Golem Feta, Tallow Blocks, a lot of other common stuff, um, Node Transducer, a few other things, Void Metal Caps, Machine, few other things, got all the different spawn eggs and otherwise, amulets, and a few others, Eldritch Eye, 
So in the next one we'll cover 17.